On the streets of Port-au-Prince, Haiti, those left homeless, hungry, and thirsty by Tuesday's powerful quake spend their time waiting for some form of relief to arrive. Aid is beginning to trickle in from the U.S. and other countries, but getting food and water from the airport to the estimated 3 million people who the Red Cross says may need it could be a far bigger challenge. No one knows how many have been killed by the quake, but the bodies in the Haitian capital show evidence of what's likely to be a massive death toll. Some government officials estimate it could be as high as a half million people. Survivors are left with the nearly impossible task to save those still trapped in the rubble. That, that was my father's house, so we lose it. My mother was... Now, now, we have, we have some, somebody, somebody here. Okay. There's some person we, we, inside we, we, the we, house. We can't, we, can't, we can't find him. We, we don't have a, a loader to, 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 to take them out. The presidential palace, a symbol of Haiti's fragile government, lies in ruins. Outside, people are riding out 90-degree heat with a series of aftershocks. An AP correspondent captured such a moment Wednesday. And people are waving their hands as the ground is shaking. A little aftershock and people are waving their hands. U.S. ships bringing troops and supplies are steaming toward the country. Even for a nation accustomed to misery, the help cannot come soon enough. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.